What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Hope everybody's well. All right, we're going out here and make this, this money. Actually, I did forget about you. I got you, though. <laughs> I got busy. Um, I got busy. I had some things I had to do. So I'll put that on the app today for you. I had a hundred things going on yesterday and Thursday. All right, family, we rocking and rolling. Don't have an order yet. Hopefully, we'll get one. One, two, three, or four, hopefully. Get. Let's see what we can get. All right, guys, we rocking and rolling. You know, Father's Day is coming up. I hope everybody that has a father, you take care of your father. That's for sure. My kids already know, man. I'm a t-shirt and underwear, man. I don't like them spending their hard to earn money on me. You know what I mean? So the night podcast is going to be very fun, guys. I'm going to break down the two albums. I need my family to let me know what you think. I got a buddy, like I said, I got a buddy that I've been debating with for a very long time. We're going to figure this thing out. If y'all don't know, today is Saturday. I don't give a damn Saturday. But you say you don't give a damn, but you really do give a damn. Feel me? I hope you feel me. That's for sure. In case you don't know how to play the game, you know your boy don't, don't mind showing you, okay? Old lady got these new jeans, but shorts, they stress shorts, shorts. She laid them out, she laid her outfit out today, this morning. I was leaving out, she's like, babe, what you think? What shoes should I wear with this outfit? I'm like, babe, I don't give a damn about them shoes or that outfit. Like, whatever you put on, baby, it's gonna look good. <laughs> but just for that moment, her face went blank. Like, what you say to me? <laughs> I didn't hit her with the why. Normally, when you say you don't give a damn, and you ask her, you wanna know why I don't give a damn? That's when you say it's King Fish, I don't give a damn son. But that face she gave me, that look she gave me, whew, I wasn't asking her why. You think I did something wrong to her, fam? You know? It's all fun and games at the end of the day. That's for sure. Yeah, 
me. It's been quiet. It's been slow this week for DoorDash. I need a good day today. I need a good day tomorrow. I just need a good day, period. You know? That's for show. <coughs> Excuse me. Yesterday, man. I had some good customers. I had that long Walmart order with the toaster and what's it called, but that was it, man. She didn't tip, but she helped out. So that was a good thing. If you don't tip, at least help. She came to the car, she was like, can I help you out? I'm like, sure. Hell yeah, you can help me out. <laughs> I don't turn down no help, God. Unless they're elderly. If they're elderly, I don't get no help. If they're younger than me, hell yeah, I need some help. Grab that water over there. <laughs> Grab that microwave you bought. That big old microwave. Microwave was heavy as hell. I said, really? She's like, yeah, I just moved here. I need a microwave. She's like, should be a toaster in there too. I was saying to myself, girl, I ain't gonna forget your toaster. I didn't mention her toaster, right? But she let me know she had a toaster too. I was like, I got you, boo, I got you. This boy Kingfish ain't gonna keep nothing that don't belong to him. That's another, I'm gonna give y'all a good tip too. Always tie the bag out so nothing fall out. I tie all the bags, you know, I just put a little not a knot, I just tie it up a little bit. I will not falling out, man. The integrity is everything. They could be missing a can of, can of tuna fish and they swept down, you stole their stuff, man. It haven't happened to me yet, but I have dropped people's stuff in the car. When I'm cleaning out the truck, I find a can of uh, tomatoes or a can or something, I'd be like, oops, you know. So that what made me tie my bags up so nothing can fall out. It can't happen, family. Not intentionally, but it can't happen. I mean, not on purpose. You know what I mean? Tracy, I haven't forgot about you either. I just been busy as hell. Tracy won a shirt for um, Kevin Garnett. Should have been Kevin Gar I mean Kevin Durant when I was talking about the Golden State. But my man didn't catch it. Tracy caught it. You know. Ladies is fast. Ladies is fast. Man, you gotta be faster than that. One of my all-time favorite commercials. Is I don't give a damn charity. We giving a damn about our cup of coffee tomorrow, this morning. I hope Ron is here. I haven't been up to the other Dunkin' Donuts since Tyra's not there anymore. I will go up there. I just haven't been that close. Alright guys, we're here. We're gonna go get some I don't give a damn coffee. Oh, 
somebody bought this parking lot here and put some um, some um, electric pumps here for like Tesla electric cars. Nobody used this thing yet. I hope she didn't waste waste her money. She she got a Tesla. It's a lot of Teslas out here, but not on this end. All right, fam. I'll see you in a minute. I'm back, family. Uh, got a great cup of coffee. Ron wasn't here, but I got me a nice 10. It ain't a 12, but it's definitely a 10. All right, it's slow this morning, man. I've been on the clock since 7. I haven't got an order yet. I'm gonna go sit up here by this Chick fil A. Not gonna tell you which one. As you know, we got them new people out there. Don't know where the hot spot's at. And you tell them the hot spot, they be sitting right beside you. Hey, Kingfish, how the hell you know about this spot? You told me. Daggone it. So I ain't saying nothing, family. Keep my mouth closed. Yeah, but that's your tip for the day. If you do a Walmart order, please make sure you tie, tie the bags. And if you put your food in the trunk, guys, please make sure your trunk don't smell like nothing but a trunk. You don't want the people's food to be smelling like something you got in your trunk. Definitely don't want that. Oh man, it feels nice out here. It's already 80. It's probably already 80 degrees out here. Let me see. It's hot already. 81 degrees already, guys. Wow. Ain't even nine, it ain't even 8.15 yet and it's already 81 degrees. So you know, it's, a hot, it's gonna be a hot field day to day. That's for sure. Coffee's on point. So what I'm gonna do, since I don't have an order yet, I'm gonna sit up here. In the shade, my favorite spot, and talk to you guys. give a damn Saturday guys waiting on an order don't have one Tampa been a little slow this been a slow week after the uh, Memorial Day I probably gonna be in the 400 club again they need to pick it up man
Definitely need to pick it up. We'll get it together. I hope y'all had a wonderful day yesterday, man. I hope y'all made some money. I didn't do too bad. I didn't do as much as I wanted to. I think I did like 56, 60 something. I don't know. Definitely not enough. I can tell you that much. Ah. Coffee on point. Oh, man. Whew. You don't know how it feels to be 80 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's not a good feeling. It's a good feeling if you got AC. <laughs> you feel me? But if you don't have AC, whew. it feels good, family. It's not, it's not hot, hot. It's not humid. It's just hot. When it's human, I'll be already sweating. I'm not sweating yet. But I can't wait till the night podcast, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this music out the way. I'm going to get this debate, this 30-something-year-old debate out the way. You know. How this debate got started? Me and a friend of mine, right? We, had, we went to a house party. And I was a DJ... He was a DJ. They had two DJs. You know, this is in the early 80s. And every time I put on Anita Baker, because see, back then you play slow music to get the crowd going, right? So he was like, you got any Luther? I said, no, nah, I ain't got no Luther. I said, I, I got Luther, but I'm not playing Luther. I'm playing Anita Baker, you know. I think she got the, you know. He was like, well, Luther got the best songs this year. I was like, you done lost your damn mind, man. Like, you lost your mind, man. He's like, whatever. Watch what happened when I put on this Luther. Like, he put the Luther on. People got up. They danced. I put my Nita Baker on. The whole house got up and danced. It was just back and forth. And so me and him developed a friendship because we were talking about music. And, and this been debating going on because he swear up and down that when he put his Luther on, the whole house was up. That wasn't true. When I put that Anita on, he swear up and down that I said the whole house was up, which was true. Everybody was up dancing to Anita. If they wasn't dancing, they was vibing to it. They was singing. You know what I mean? So we're going to debate that tonight, guys. Y'all let me know what you think. We're going to analyze each song. And whatnot. I know this ain't nothing about DoorDash or Life or whatever, but this is this has got to get done. You know what I mean? And you know, I love hip-hop. I love old school. You know, I'm a music fanatic. I don't have a great memory, so I, I don't I don't sit down and talk about music like most people. Cause some people talk about they know the year, the title, the this and that. You know, I might know the year, I don't know the title and, and all that stuff. I would have to Google it. You know what I mean? But it's debatable, man. I love both of them, man. I just think Anita just outdid Luther that year. That's all. That's like a Tupac and Biggie album. You know what I mean? You either gonna hate it or love it. They, they ask me all the time, who is your top five R&B singer? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know you got Marvin, <laughs> you know. You got Al Green, you got Luther, you got Anita Baker, you got Aretha Franklin. That's my top five, you know what I mean? Six is Teddy Pendergrad. Now, Teddy, Teddy can be right up there with Luther, but I think Luther, you know. You know, for us hip hop, it's Tupac, it's Biggie, it's Eminem, it's Jay, and it's um, my man, paid him for Rakim. You know, everybody got their different top five. But when I say top five, those are the top five people I would listen to in a heartbeat. You know what I mean? But it's debatable, man. 
Some people got Curtis Blow in their top five. Rapid Delight. The old school. My old school, old school. They got those those guys up there. Which they, they paved the way. Run DMC, they paved the way. They're in my top ten, but they're not in my top five. So every every era, I mean um every uh what does it call? Era. People gonna have different different um take on things. I asked a young man the other day who was this top five basketball player. He said LeBron James, Kobe. He said uh, Shaq. He didn't even mention Jordan. He said, uh, who was it? Uh, I don't know. They all playing. They all playing in the league now, except for Shaq and um, Allen Iverson. But the other three, I was like, man, you forgot about Jordan. He was like, yeah, Joe was, you know, he all he he's a goat, but he's not in my top five. I was like, that's because you haven't seen him saying play. My top is is Jordan, Pistol Pete, um, Magic. You know, Bird is in my top five. You know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is my top five. Shaq is my top ten. Charles Barkley is in my top ten, but I'm talking about my top five, man. Y'all don't know nothing about Pistol Pete, man. That was the baddest white boy out there, man. Especially playing as a guard. Pistol Pete, if you don't know Pistol Pete, uh, I can't pronounce his last name. Mervic or Mark, whatever the last name is. If you don't know nothing about that white boy, guys, the stuff that them guys are doing now, Pistol Pete was doing in the early 70s. You know what I mean? He was doing that in the early 70s. I remember when they announced that he died. I was at, I was going I was in high school. Um, I was going across the stage. I think it was in '88, and they came on our school thing and said, "Oh, we just lost a great one, Pistol Pete Merivale." I remember that. Passed away at forty something years old. I think he was forty. You know, but yeah, man, everybody got their top. That's some that's something good y'all should know, man. Y'all y'all should have your top five. I called my mother right now. I said, Mom, who in your top five R and B? She said, Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, you got the ultimate top five. <laughs> I was doing something, guys. I was doing something. And I think I don't know if it was on my podcast or my video. And Somebody had commented, and my mother commented underneath of them, and she said, Jesus should be your first, I think she said priority or something, something she said, but she had me dying, man, she had me dying, and that person just said, oh my God, I got to find that video, guys, so y'all can go check it out, but yeah, moms don't play, man, mom did not play for her, I see her in her top five. But when my mom was, um, that's how I got introduced to all this good music back in the day. My mom and my aunt, my aunt loved Rose Royce. So that's how I fell in love with Rose Royce. And then my mom was like, and, and I had an aunt that was in love with Al Green. I called Al Green gay one time. She slapped me upside my head, chased me around the house, gonna beat the mess out of me, man. I had to hide. Uh, I think my mom was more of uh, like James Brown. She was more on the funk side. She was like James Brown. Uh, she loved all the, the uh, everybody loved Teddy and Marvin. But I used to hear that in my uh, in my house. I knew all the music. You know, Motown, grew up on Motown, you know. And they liked uh, the one that I said, Rod Stewart, they like him, they love him. Rod Stewart, and there was another white guy, Tom Petty. Um, my mother and them listened to all types of music, man. You know, Kenny Rogers. All kinds of music, man. There wasn't no prejudice in our house with music, man. You had a nice song and a good beat, and we was playing it. One thing my mom told me about music, there's no color in music. It's just, 
voices and, and, and lessons and, and, and what you call it. Yeah. I appreciate my mother for saying that, you know. It's like there's no color in music. It's just voices, it's pictures, and it's, it's, it's um, she said, it's stories. And if you listen to them stories, if you find a story in that music and apply it to your life, it might help you out. I appreciate that, man. I really do, because that's all I look for. I look for a message, I look for stories and, and music. You know, where, where would this piece fit in in my life? How would this help me? You know what I mean? Marvin and Marvin got me in trouble. Teddy Pendergrass got me in trouble. Luther got me in trouble. Anita Baker got me in trouble. These people got me in trouble. Because you know back in the day, guys, you know how we used to do it, man. We didn't have what these guys, these kids had today. You know, if you had a mixed tape, a slow tape, and you had a woman, and you took out the dinner, and you came back home, and you put that tape on, come on, man. That's how we used to do it. We used to romance. It ain't no romance now. I'm not even romantic no more. My wife give me that look. You know, I put on sports center. <laughs> she be like, cut that TV off. I'm like, what? It's like it's romantic time. I'm like, what? Nobody's romantic these days, baby. She put on, she said, Alexa, put some Teddy on. I was like, oh, there you go. You cheating now. <laughs> But we got to get back to being romantic, man. And they just tell you what they want, how they want it, when they want it. You know. Hey, honey, how you doing? Get in the room, girl. You know what time it is. I mean, that's not romantic, guys. Got to be romantic. I know I got to be, man. I suck in that department, guy. I'm telling you, man. I'm lazy. <laughs> You can dash all day, huh? But you can't come home. I'm like, hold on, baby. Calm down, man. You're talking to a thug, you know? You don't talk to a thug like that. Hold on. Send me a text. <laughs> Guys, don't you hate when people text you? This generation is crazy, man. This gener My daughter will pull up to the house, right? She won't call. She'll text and say, I'm out front. We don't look at, when, when you in your 40s and 50s, you don't look at no damn text. She blow the horn. Like, who the hell out there blowing a horn like that and lost their mind? Then you say, it's like, why you ain't call? I text you. The hell that mean? Pick up the phone and call. Text me. Call me. <laughs> oh, my God. I laugh, I laugh at people at work when they text out. And I don't look at the text. The next day I said, uh, I hit you with a no call, no show. And they were like, I text you. I was like, dude, you cannot text me out. You got to call me and tell me you calling out. That's not a legitimate call out. Excuse me. Like, you got to give it the time. No, you need to pick up the phone and call. You need to give it the time. Uh, I, can, I, I just laugh because I can imagine me texting my boss back in the day if we had text and said, hey, man, I'm not coming in. Oh my God, he was like, well, you better look for another job. We don't play that. Homie, don't play that. I tell you what, guys, it was really nice to uh, reminisce on Wednesday, to read some of y'all comments, man. You know, some of these shows that we used to watch, man, I know some of them come on TV, but for our younger generation, if you really want some real comedy, y'all need to go back and study some of them great shows we had. You know what I mean? Nothing against Bill Cosby, but I did learn a lot when I used to watch Bill Cosby. He, you know, some of his messages and Theo and all them, man, they was going through what we was going through at that time. You know what I mean? We didn't have that type of money, but, you know, they suffered. They went through the same thing. It taught a lot of values, you know? I don't, I don't like nothing that Bill did uh, to the ladies and how he did the ladies, but I can tell you this, man. When he when he did his job, he did he did a great job. When he uh, teaching us values and this and that through the Cosby Show and this and that, you know. But it was a good show. Cosby Show was a good show. You know, different world helped a lot of people understand and go to college. Nobody was thinking about no college, but when Different World came on, 
and then they were talking about Spelman and, and Howard and this and that, man. I could tell you, in my generation, we wasn't thinking about no college. Because they made college seem like it was hard to get into. If you wasn't a, a, a athlete, if you wasn't um, real good at something, man, they, they, they didn't talk to you about college. You know? I stumble upon college. You know? I'm one of the ones that don't finish nothing, man. I gotta go back and get, finish me and get my associates. Education is important, man. You need education. We live in a world where you need to be smart. Street smart is pretty good, but you gotta be book smart a little bit too. You know, I got one, I got one that's book smart, I got one that's street smart. My book smart, my street smart is smarter than my book smart. You know what I mean? It's a big difference, family, when you book smart compared to street smart. You have to have both. Street smart keep you alive. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people don't have no street smart. And when I talk about book smart, street smart, let me give you an example. A street smart person knows that if they're around a group of, pick, group of kids and they're in a bad neighborhood, they don't go in their wallet and pull out no money. A book smart person will pull out all their money, go in the store, see all these gangsters out here, go in the store, pull out everything they have in their wallet just to give somebody $2. Put it back in their wallet and end up getting robbed. That's just a, that's, I mean, I know it's a dumb example, but I'm, I'm just saying, you know, a street smart person know, hey, you only pull out what you need to pull out. <laughs> a book smart person pull out all their money. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with being book smart, but you got to have a little bit of street smart in there too. Street smart keep your head on the swivel, you know what I mean? Book smart, you be sitting here reading and get robbed, you know what I mean? I just tell my kids, you have to be both. You really do. Family, I know this is a boring ass video, but I apologize. I don't have an order. I'm just waiting for the night. So whatever I missed, whatever I missed today, we gonna make it up for the night. My time is up, family. I got to go, man. I got to go somewhere where they're giving out orders, man. They're not giving me no orders. I'm not crying, but I'm singing. I'm not getting no orders. All right, family, I got to go, man. It's been nice hanging out with you guys. You know, you see the shirt, man. I don't give a damn Saturday shirts, man. Stop playing. Ashley, go hit your app, Ashley. I got you. Tracy, I'll be sending your shirt out either today or Monday. i just been lazy, family. I got so much going on, family. I don't know. Um, if, the, if I didn't see my I don't give a damn Saturday shirt, I probably would have thought it was still Friday, man. That's how much stuff I got going on. But I need to slow down. All right, family, this is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing. You better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace.